So as you can hear, I'm back in Hanoi and yeah, it's quite a contrast to the quietness of Sapa. Today, I'm uh, gonna attempt some street photography. So some challenge for me because normally I only do landscapes, but in a town as Hanoi, I should find something to photograph. So there's something going on at every corner. And yeah, I just try to get a few photos now and yeah, I'll also show them to you. What I usually do, I just place myself in an area where, where much is going on and then I just wait and have my long lens on and pick out subjects and yeah, usually it doesn't take long for something to happen and then I get a photo and yeah, so I'm walking around now finding different street corners where something interesting is happening and trying to get some photos, so let's go. So after my more or less successful attempts at street photography, I am now headed to the very famous train street here in Hanoi. And yeah, it's an hour until sunset and I'm gonna try to photograph it for sunset and there should even be a train coming in around that time. So it's gonna be interesting. Maybe I can grab a photo of it. Otherwise I'll just focus on the architecture and the tracks leading through the narrow streets so, yeah, let's see what I get. So, according to the locals here, a train should arrive from this direction in about 20 minutes. And what I've done here, I've already set up using a long lens and I've zoomed in quite a bit so I have enough time to get out of the way when the train comes around that corner. And I've taken photos now for the foreground, the middle ground and the background so I can later get everything sharp in the frame. And yeah, now I'm just waiting for the train and I have my remote release here so I can precisely time my exposure. And yeah, now it's just waiting and yeah, hoping that the locals were right and the train actually comes from this way and not from the other direction. So as you could see, the train just passed through, but Fortunately, I couldn't get the photo I wanted because just a minute before the train passed through, the locals came and yeah, told me to get off the tracks because it seems that the government uh, stresses about this a bit. So you aren't allowed to put a tripod there when the train's coming and there are cameras in front of the train or something like that. And yeah, this could get problems. So I had to leave without the photo. It would have been nice. And yeah, handheld for handheld, it was already too dark. so I couldn't get a sharp photo which is a little sad but yeah that's how it is I'll come back later for a blue hour shot maybe which could look nice with the lights here but otherwise it was quite an experience having this train pass me by by maybe 30 centimeters <laughs> okay so now I'm going exploring again and yeah maybe come back for another photo mm -hmm. 